Hello everyone, I am Verdant T and I'm back today with more Rain Code. That's right, it's been getting really interesting. I can't wait to find out who the nail man is and prove that kid's dad innocent. Although, if it winds up being that kid's dad, that's going to be kind of awkward to have a conversation with the kid after that. Um, oh, I hope it's really not him. Anyway, let's get to it and please like, comment, subscribe, you know the deal. Alright. Okay, that's right. The kid said that we should go through a hole in the wall, but real quick, just want to see. Once you pass through, please help the dad. Be sure to bring you some good news, unless he's guilty, in which case, ooh, that'll be awkward. Um, oh, it's this way. Move forward. Okay, that doesn't seem like it's the part of the wall where the foots were, footsteps were disappearing into. Up. Oh, I wasn't meaning to go in there. <laughs> who knew some brat would save ya? Anyone who knew me. Although then again. You know, if we say you saved me, then we definitely had a brat save me. Aww. Okay, yep. Yeah. Got it, let's go back. Ah. You sure you what have so we quick to make promises? Nope. I don't know. I'm not very confident, but I can't ignore someone asking for help. I think we may see a little bit about the psychology of his old self, if it's shining if through. Is willing to listen, then it's up to me. Wow! Get a load of this big shot. Didn't expect that from you, Master. I mean. Yeah, okay, fine. But how do you plan to find the real culprit? We can't investigate the clock tower with the peacekeepers around. No, but I can inspect everybody's loafers. Mm, somehow I don't think that might work. By the way, you can't use the mystery labyrinth yet. Not enough clues. Yeah, that figures. If you jump into the labyrinth now, you'll be lost forever. You need to gather more solution keys. I don't think we've actually met the killer yet. Unless it's like a Lara nightmare or something, which I doubt. Oh, we should go ask her for help. I remember something about her being at the cafe. I don't ever want to go back there anyway. Oh, you know you're gonna. Then how do you intend on solving this? The old fashioned way? There is uh, one way. Darn. You're gonna rely on that one, huh? Always depending on someone else. Look, Halara is cool. Mm, what was the spot again? Something about a cafe? Yeah, I saw the cafe when I was looking around the town earlier. It's like this nice place with plants everywhere. Yep. Golden Path Cafe. I didn't notice the name. Out five million yen, right? Do you have that kind of money, Master? Or nope. are you gonna go into debt? Massive amounts of debt. I'm just curious, real quick. I... Yeah. Okay. Come on. <sighs> yeah, okay. I do like these crosswalks. That is really cool. Whole cyberpunk feel of it. Hmm. Okay. Real quick, let me just check. No, I don't see anything that might look like a... Uh... Sorry, side quest sort of thing. I do wonder though... 
This will probably get cut. Never mind, I couldn't even look at another district because apparently I'm locked out of traveling to them. Yeah, I know, but I wanted to see what this shop was. Looks cool. And it looks like they may sell antique dolls. So there. Is she? There she is. Halara, please help me. If Master is bowing to show respect, I guess I better do the same. Please, for both our sakes. <sighs> help me, Halara. Help, help me, Halara. So, do you have the cash? <laughs> yeah, I had to rob five banks on the way here to get it. I don't have any on me right now, but I will eventually. As a trainee? Very well. I don't require you to have it immediately, but you will pay me 5,500,800 yen eventually. That's an oddly specific amount. And where are you getting the extra 500,800 yen? Huh? But you said it was 5 million before. Because you made her wait, let me guess. It's an additional fee for making me wait. I knew it. Coffee. I told you, I don't work for cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. So ruthless. A greedy little money demon. She's just your favorite type, isn't she? I think I'll call this one Hell Aura. <laughs> okay, that was entertaining. Mildly. Force your hand. Whatever you decide is up to you. While you think it over, I'm going to order some cake. And charge you for it, too. Wait, do I have to pay for that, too? We all know the answer to that. Of course. I'll add it to the bill. Walk right into these things, you know that? All right, I'll pay you all 5.5 million and 800 shin, got it? Oh. Please don't add the cake. <laughs> it's a deal. You made a wise choice. I have no obligation to help others, but I work sincerely according to the payment I receive. Makes me wonder if she can be bought off by Amaterasu or or if she has some morals regarding that. I hope she can't. That is my pride as a detective. I will be your eyes and limbs and help solve this crime with everything I have. Okay. However, know this. You must be the one to complete the boy's assignment. I can respect that. Me? You are the one who was asked to solve this case. All I will do is provide support. I kind of get the feeling that it's going to be a situation where every single chapter or whatever, you work specifically with another one of the detectives in particular. Like this one's Halara, next one could be Ubiki or Vivia. Or Thunderbolt. I wonder if that's the case. Either way, I like this one so far. You may be a trainee, but you are still a detective. Once you have taken a job, you must finish it. In other words, as of now, I have taken up a position as your assistant. Great. Really, Halara? You'll be my assistant? Don't let it go to your head. He's charging you. I'm here to assist per your case. Just rest assured in the cards you've been dealt. All right. 
Thank you. I wonder if we can take her into the mystery dungeon too. That'd be entertaining. Master has no memory and no guts. And now he has no money either. She's not incorrect. Talk about a triple threat. <laughs> okay. You win that one, Shinigami. Oh, be quiet. <laughs> so what do we do now? To confirm, our target is the true culprit of the nail man killings, correct? No, we're looking for that kid's dad to, you know, end the crime on him. Yes, of course we are looking for the true culprit. The peacekeepers have decided that the boy's father is the nail man and arrested him. But I refuse to accept that outcome. After we finish the investigation, we may find out the boy's father is actually the nail man. Which will lead to an awkward conversation with the kid. If that's what you conclude, then I'll believe you, Halara. Believe? What a foolish line of reasoning. To believe in another is the shallowest concept one can uphold. Okay, yep. All people lie. All people change their minds. Are you sure you won't change your mind about that? Okay. As a detective, you must suspect all others. Even me. Okay, I suspect you. Where were you last night? Let me see your shoes. Yep, a detective must doubt everything. You are not a detective, Shinigami. Still, I will believe what you say, Halara. I trust my instincts on this. And she'll call you a fool for that, question. too. A detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. Yep. A detective Hold it. must always prioritize solving a case. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. If you want true perfection. That's the WDOs. WDOs what? I imagine they're going to say motto, but I like to imagine that's the WDOs, you know, fight song. Really bad fight song. You're free to think of me as you wish. However, the truth must be found with your own eyes. I wouldn't have found the truth with that person's eyes. Come here, I'm poking them out. Otherwise, there is no point in continuing as a detective. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Continuing as a detective. I still haven't found meaning in being a detective. What's Alara trying to make me see? What's right in front of you? I'm no good at this. Also that. Hmm. A naive guy like yourself might be incompatible with such a straight-laced detective like this one. She's straight-laced? She's literally working for money. Like, not the truth. Money. And she said she'll work for whoever pays her most. She also said not to trust her and that everybody lies and everybody changes their minds. So really, I wouldn't call her straight laced at this point. Maybe someone totally unmotivated would be better. Like that guy sleeping under the piano. Watch Vivi is like a real fiend when it comes to solving mysteries, like just up and at them, you know, just boom. Vivia? I'm not sure if unmotivated is the right word. Yeah, I don't think it is either, but... Anyway, Master, I've been wondering... Why nobody has ever combined peanut butter with aardvarks? Probably because it's a terrible idea. Is this Holara person a man or a woman? I mean, that's up to them to decide, isn't it? Oh, uh, now that you mention it, I have no idea. If you're ready, we'll start the investigation. 
I won't allow time to be wasted. Okay. Oh, right. You missed your chance to ask. But then again, I also don't really care. Yeah, I might also be a little bit off if you don't ask it properly. You finished investigating the clock tower, didn't you? Now we will investigate the past Nailman cases. The past ones? I was about to say is you could ask their pronouns, but I remembered in Japanese it's a little bit different. These are serial killings, aren't they? Oh, so you want to investigate the past murders as well. Right, so it might tell us about something about the current one. And through investigating each one, we can conclude if the boy's father is really the culprit or not. We could also ask the boy where the father was on the nights of those murders. But we'd also have to know where the boy is, so... Oh, but we don't know where the other crimes took place. Should we... One of them was at now? the museum or art gallery. I already know. There are at least three additional crime scenes. Please don't wind up being the killer, Halara. A secret club in Kamasaki District. A mansion in a high-end residential district. And an art gallery in Gima District. Huh? When did you find that out? You think she's just been sitting idly? You think I did nothing while waiting at the cafe? I was gonna say. I prepared by gathering intel in order to move the investigation along. So she knew you would mess it up if you didn't get her help. So, That's their help. Amazing. With my logic, anything is possible. But before we head to past crime scenes, the Nailman urban legend requires more research. Let's visit the legend's main stage. Okay, behind the church? Stage. Oh, you mean the church? I have yet to pinpoint the church's location. We should ask someone to guide us there. You were literally right outside it, weren't you? Or, no, that was the clock tower, not the church. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, that was... We should ask the chief. Totally different. My bad. Oh, I totally forgot about him. He told me to gather everyone. Halara, oh, let's go back to the office for now. We're already way past the meeting time. Um, Yako can wait. Very well. We can ask the chief to take us to the church. Uh. Bill. That assumes that the chief is competent. I mean, I guess he has to be, but right now he's only confessed to finding cats and whatnot. And I just realized I never checked the memory shard thing I got for the gumshoe gab last time. I completely forgot to actually check it. Let's, uh, gab with Halara real quick. Right. Hmm. Okay. Oh no. I got careless and ended up alone with Halara. Hey! I like Halara. I, I should be the one to start the conversation. I'm the rookie, after all. Okay. What do I say? Whatever you want. Do you feel awkward? Alara broke the ice. Huh? It's natural to strike up a conversation when two people are together. Yes, because there are uncomfortable silences at times. Such is the mundane way of the masses. You're overtaxing your tiny brain to do so, aren't you? Personally, I prefer the silence, but mm, most of the time. Well, sort of. Then how about you and I have a wager? Oh no. Don't get more in debt to Halara. But I thought the chief said no more gambling. 
The boss said it's forbidden, so you won't do it. You think I can be swayed by that sort of logic? I mean, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really sound like you. Besides, gambling can nurture skills that every detective needs. I imagine if Yako had offered to pay Halara to no longer gamble in the office, then they might consider it, but now, eh. I believe it will be to your benefit. And what sort of skills are you talking about? Instead of always asking for answers, why not figure it out for yourself for once? Wow. Oh, a skill needed by detectives, which can be trained by gambling. They probably don't mean a poker face, but more reading your person's tales. L's. L's. Ooh. L tales. L health. Ah. Observation skills. Observational skills? That's right. Gambling isn't merely decided by coincidence. Yep. For example, that is very true. Poker, you can study the cards already in play. Unless it's roulette. As well as the expressions of dealers and players. You observe all that, make logical deductions, and commence battle. How about it? Wouldn't you agree those are the skills every detective needs? Mostly, yes. Well, they need more than just that, though. I get what you're saying, but... When are you going to stop nitpicking? Um, sorry. I nitpick a lot. I don't mean to. I just do it sometimes. <laughs> of course, I could nitpick about my nitpicking. Hmm. After all you made me explain, you will have to play a match with me. Uh... But there's no way I stand a chance against you. Yeah, you? Not to worry. We'll do a warm up first, with nothing wagered. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm not going to hustle a beginner straight off the bat. I'll break it in nicely, then I'll start hustling. Okay. <laughs> We're such a sucker. Yes! I beat you! It was just a game of heads or tails, but still, you show some promise. That's... fun. Does that mean I have talent as a detective? No. Yes, you can say that oh, for sure. darn. <laughs> now the real game begins. First, let's wager. I think we should start with 10,000 shen. Don't do it! Halara's hustling you! Right! No! <laughs> this isn't how it was supposed to go. And that's called a hustle. Congratulations, Yuma. You learned something new that every detective should know. Avoid the hustle. Don't be foolish. I lost the warm-up so you'd feel that rush, and mistake your own skill level. It's rather yeah. obvious I did it on purpose. I remember I actually was... had somebody try hustling me at pool once, and I was so bad at it that even though the person was trying to let me win, I wound up sinking the eight ball, which immediately made me lose. And then he tried saying, let's play again and make it interesting. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I suck at this game. I'm doing this for fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. I let you get carried away and made you take a gamble against me. Oh, 
Aw, he got completely hustled. You picked the wrong detective to mess with. Yes. I think that was a rather good learning experience. So, teaching fee on top of everything? It's crucial for detectives to doubt other people's intentions, no matter the circumstances. I won't charge you interest for now, but you must tell me immediately when you've developed a payment plan. Alara oh, is totally ruthless. <laughs> Master, you and Halara seem to have grown closer. Yeah, and I have to wonder, do Master Detectives get aid by the World Detective Organization or from people they take the cases of, in which case, like, Yuma is completely broke and has no way of getting money. As I was speaking, I accidentally hit my mic, so I might have cut that and I'll finish what I was saying here is some people offered him money, but he would refuse to take it so he got detective points anyway which is the real reward because you know now he can buy new skills or something yeah i know i think it's silly too but still let's head on over back to kamasaki district we can continue on the case You better hurry! Why better I hurry? Alright, anyway. I'm going to cut until something interesting happens when I actually get to my destination, so yeah. Click that cut. It's the peacekeepers. Stay hidden. Boy. Oh, right. Chief, and that peacekeeper from the clock tower. Are you holding roses? Seth Burrows, a high-ranking peacekeeper. He's quite infamous for being sly and persistent. Oh, sly and persistent. Well, if it was just sly or just persistent, I could handle it, but both out of my league. Well, we sure got some heavy rain again, huh? Oh, the humidity makes my hair fuzzier than normal. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna say I it. I don't care. Thank you, Seth. Huh? What, what did you say? I don't care. More importantly, you sent your detectives to interfere with the nail man case, didn't you? We have witnesses. Oh, really? That eh? nail man? Now that you mention it, there was a case. Oh, wait, no, I don't oh. know any. <laughs> this flower, it's beautiful, isn't it? Huh? He's going to start talking about how it's deadly or something, isn't he? By Amaterasu Corp's research, this precious work of art is adapted to Kanai Ward's environment. But unfortunately, once picked, it can only maintain its beauty for three hours. Or not? When something beautiful withers, it fills me with an inexplicable sorrow. Ow, this guy's... even worse than Vivia. I feel so sad. For the emo. Don't you dare sink our sub. Aw, you I sunk my battleship. Don't sink the sub. Come on. Um No. Bring in the detectives you sent out. The peacekeepers will take custody of them. The hell no. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on! I don't know what detectives you're talking about, and I don't know where any of them are. 
I'll wait until this flower withers. You have three hours. I'll not wait a second longer. Does that mean we have three hours to solve the case? If you fail to meet my demands, you will suffer the same fate as this flower. Fine, I get it, but... Can't you give me more time? Eh, I saw that coming. At least the mystery labyrinth freezes time so we can try... He's gone. ...getting through that way. Chief Yako, are you all right? You just saw that, right? No, he's not all right. Yuma, and Halara, too. Yeesh, this is bad. Uh, listen, the peacekeepers just came by. I know. We were watching from over there. I'm gonna say anything. Huh? You were watching? You couldn't at least help me out. And overrated. Hold on. Are you two the detectives they were talking about? No. Um, maybe? Yes. I'm sorry. It's a long story, but it was probably us. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Why? What's going on? Be fair. We are detectives. It's exactly as the peacekeeper said. We are currently pursuing the mailman case. <laughs> We'd like to search around the church. I was about to ask you to take us there, but you seem rather busy. <laughs> I love Hilara's attitude. Yeah, I'm real busy now, thanks to you two. Oh, don't be a little whiny baby about it. You're gonna keep investigating? Not gonna help your chief out of a jam? What, and get taken in by the peacekeepers? No! <laughs> Look, we've got three hours before I'm taken away. If that happens, the last detective agency in town is done for. Ah. Uh, there's new people here. We'll set up a new one for you. While you rot. I'm sure that's what you'd have wanted, right? Would you rather hand us over to the peacekeepers? Who do you think you're talking to? I'm the chief. I'd rather turn myself in than ever sell anyone out. So then why did you say that? What, what, uh, fine. Though, I wouldn't want to do that either, if I'm being honest. Never mind, forget what I just said. Okay, weird hand gestures. Man, he does not know when to stop. Yeah, I know. He keeps doing the hand things. It's a weird vibro deal. Like, he just keeps doing them even though nobody's there. He should have known to stop by now. What should we do, Halara? There's only one person who'll be taken into custody. It's not the chief, not us. It's the mailman. You will find the real culprit and turn the murderer over to the peacekeepers as originally planned. Does he have to be alive first? Because that may be a problem. With enough evidence, they will have no room to reject the truth. I appreciate your chutzpah, Halara, but... These are corrupt police officers we're talking about, or peace officers. But we only have three hours. Three hours is more than enough. I will give my utmost effort as your assistant. Okay. I'm gonna work you like a dog. With my logic, anything is possible. Sure. Sure. I don't really get it, but... It seems best to leave it to you two. For all we know, Seth is the serial killer. Right now, I've got so no real go to the church. Let points. Me mark it on the map. Heck, it might just be a random person who wanted to be more it's realistic about it. If we're seen together, things will get even more sticky. 
Mm. I'll be right here, waiting for good news. I'm counting on you. All right. We're off. Three hours. You've got three hours to solve the case. Can we pet pin it on Desuhiko Thunderbolt? That's all I'm wondering. Can we pin it on him? Seriously, I'm counting on you. There's oh, I feel bad. so much I need to do. Oh. The picture of his cat. At least that's what I assume. All right. You can get to the church from Kamasaki District. Time is short. Let's hurry! Cool. I'm gonna see what this is first. Nice. <laughs> okay, I had already gotten it. All right. Well, I am going to get there as fast as I can. Um, but. Sorry, I'm going to get there as fast as I can. I'm going to cut to it right now. Okay, we're at the church. So the Nailman urban legend originated at this church. That's the most ominous looking church I think I have seen in quite a while. Sincerely. Like something out of Castlevania. Or gothic horror. It's safe, right? No, Shinigami. It's not safe at all. Ghosts are everywhere. Wah! Spooky. Scary. Spooky, scary skeletons. Sorry. So, never feel safe again. And just go away. Be scared and go away. Mm. What's the matter, Halara? I hate churches. I find them devoid of value. I'm not surprised. Huh? Why is that? They don't have they don't allow gambling in them. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry, my rigging is messing up today. Because prayer is obviously inferior to payment. Just look at the tragedies the city has seen. Ah. Uh. Yep. There is no God to save you. The lost lamb should look to detectives for help instead, don't you think? To be fair, if the lambs are lost, I don't think they would know where to go to the detectives for help, to find the detectives for help. I mean, kind of in the name lost. Don't know where they are. I don't know about that. Depends on the individual. Forget it. For now, let's talk to the people around the church. Okay. Will they even listen to us? They can't say no if we say we're an assignment for the peacekeepers. Is it okay to lie like that? Depends. Whether it's okay or not is secondary. Our priority is to solve the case. In order to achieve that, deception is at times required. Now, let us educate those who are here that their true savior isn't beyond the rain clouds. Ow. May be agnostic, but dang. Aura brutal. Oh, no. Um, what is it you wanted to speak about? Okay, you know what? I think if it's this particular church with these clergymen and whatnot, I think Halara may be onto something. Hmm. I've already spoken to the peacekeepers a bunch of times. How many times do I gotta say it? More. Uh, uh, hasn't the culprit already been arrested? Well, I don't mind. I have time to talk. Wasn't it the clergy member that went with the peacekeepers to find the body? Because I was thinking that that's why I thought the clock tower was where the church was. 
was because it mentioned a clergy member being there too. One of these people probably is responsible. Okay, yep. Got it. How long are you going to stand around like some tombstone? Our time is short. Why do you think we've gathered them here? Oh. Uh, um, we have to question them, right? Yes. It's your move. Play your card. Really have to do this? I guess Alara seems intent on being the assistant. It's the Four of Hearts. In my opinion, it'd go much faster if Halara did this, Master. Yeah, I agree, but I have to do it. No point in wasting time thinking about it. <laughs> time for an investigation. Our time is short. Why do you think we've I'll speak to them all eventually anyway. Just talk to them one by one. Alright, fine. You. And you are... I... I do the odd jobs like cleaning around the church. Okay. I also care for the forest. Uh, that instantly makes you more suspicious. Do you know anything about the mailman? I, I, I often patrol the woods, but I'm usually asleep at night. When morning comes around, there are dolls nailed to the trees. It's tough to clean all of them up. Do you have them all upstairs having a little tea party? I've w never seen the nail man himself, but I've seen people enter the forest plenty of times. Have you ever talked to them? I have, but they typically run away. Some get surprised and leave their nails and doll behind. And yeah, nobody wants to admit to wanting to somebody I dead. Them to give them back their dolls, but I'm never fast enough. They always get away. That makes sense with a body like that. Oh, I shut understand. up, Shinigami. Thank you very much. That was entirely worthless. Didn't ask anything about the murders or anything else. That's right. My family has served this church for many generations. And did all of them have that haircut? Because... I normally like that haircut, but I don't think you pull it off quite right. You look like there's a Hershey kiss on top of your head. And I want some chocolate. Though I only became a man of the cloth in recent years, the blood of martyrs spanning centuries dwells within me. <sighs> okay, Mr. Holier Than Thou. Yes, my existence is but a piece of the eternal prayers offered. Know anything about the great global mystery? That is my mission, as the divine has guided me to do. The divine what? I don't get why, but he sure seems proud to be a priest. Do you know about the mailman? Of course. I have no Delivers idea. Delivers my letters every day. Rumors spread around. Perhaps it was even started by a wish made by those seeking salvation, which created the fantasy of the male man. Okay, this may be me reading into it a bit, but my goodness, that crazy. Oh, sorry. That smile was very suspicious. Oh, you go to the nail man? I want to tie you up and go to a world where it's just you and me, master. No, hard pass. Isn't it basically already like that?
Is there anybody hiding back here? Oh. I was just gonna... I mean, since I'm already here, if it... Here. See, seeing the one in the clock tower made me want to search around, so... Well, kinda got that. Alright, let's... Go ahead and talk to the nun now. Um, the weird... You are... Cat girl nun. Blind? I'm a nun, obviously. You got some nerve calling me here out of nowhere. Do you know how busy I am with choir practice? Sounds like you have a bad habit. In the name of God! I kick ass for the Lord! <laughs> She's the type my master has trouble with! I'll have you know. I mean, that's my all. Dad is a higher up. Amaterasu Corporation. I don't care. How did you injure your arm? If you piss me off, Papa will make you regret it. Right. Yeah. I'd just like to ask. But I think it should be obvious we're not actually from Amaterasu Corps if your dad is a higher up. You mean the guy nailing up dolls? Well, I have seen someone going into the forest late at night. Whenever I've Who's gone that? into the forest afterward, I usually find dolls nailed to the trees. The dolls okay. have names written in what looks like blood. It's creepy as hell, really. I can imagine it would be. It's totally metal! <laughs> okay, I appreciate that. By the way, I only just figured out, like, when it started happening that L is auto for it. Auto progress. I'll save time. Your right hand. Did you get hurt? Yeah, falling out of this clock tower. I. Oh wait. Hmm. I went a little overboard while practicing an instrument. Instrument? Yeah, that's suspicious. I'm working on this new thing I call death metal choir. I, I was messing around on the bass and, well, you know. Hard rock, hallelujah. Dominant hand. What kind of question is that? You want to die or something? Oh, uh... It, it, it Yuma, come on. Hand. I'm sure of it. I Why is that such a touchy question? <laughs> like, is that your dominant hand? I'd never really thought of as a sensitive question. Whatever. You, random person. Excuse me, but you are... Do you Obnoxious. Have to ask? You know who I am. Nope. Huh? No, I think today is the first time we've met. What? You're investigating the nail man and you don't know who I am? What's... Nail man's number one fan? This must be that was grimy. On the report, who was the first to find the body? Oh, yeah, okay. Right. I was the first on the scene. Ah, uh, right. it was on the report. I'm impressed Halar was able to realize it so quickly. I've been attending every day since I was first baptized here as a child. That's how pious I am. Okay, but nobody I'm who's pious talks so about how pious they like are. Clergy member. I just love mystical places like this. There's an otherworldly feeling to it, you know? I love researching this type of stuff, which is why I've been keeping an eye on Nailman activity for a while now. Yeah, sadly I do know. I know a lot about the Nailman. That's an understatement. In fact, you could say I'm an expert in Nailman research. In that case, what do you think about the clock tower murder? Though it seems the suspect has already been arrested. I think he was framed. Good. Now is that the killer wanting recognition or? Obviously, the peacekeepers are making. 
Okay. Listen, the nail man exists. Oh, he thinks there's actually and commits murder based on a sacrifice. Gotcha. Okay. My bad. I was thinking he possible. Yeah, I might know. You probably want proof. In that case, look for a doll in the forest. You'll find a nailed doll with a name tag for the dark ceremony. Whoever's name is on it is the nail man's next target. Just follow someone in town with the same name. If you're lucky, you might have a run in with the nail man. That is a bad idea. So lucky. I've missed him by just a hair four times already. Well, aren't you unlucky? So you guess the next victim based on each doll's name tag. I was so close at the clock tower, too. I found what? someone whose name matched a name tag and figured out she was heading to the clock tower. I called the peacekeepers and entered the clock tower, but I was too late. Hmm. Damn it. If only I had acted sooner. I could have seen it and watched. Like, he's not interested in stopping the murders. He just wants to see it and prevent it. Or not prevent it. Sorry. Seems like a huge weirdo. Yes, yes, he is. I've talked to everyone. Halara, is there anything you'd like to ask them? Only end your turn once you've secured a shot at victory. Um, does that mean I should gather more information? Probably. What else should I ask about? About past nail man murders? Um, there have been I almost feel like the suspect is past, right? goes an inconvenience. Like, he's a victim of circumstance. Does anyone know anything about past cases? You know a lot about these things, right? Yeah. You can ask me anything about the nail man, including all past cases, obviously. What's his measurement? How tall is he? Find the body every time. Okay, that is every suspicious time? as all get out. There's no reason to look surprised. I already told you how I did it. I find dolls with name tags in the forest. Then I look for whoever's supposed to be the next victim. Supposedly there should be more than one doll though. They're already dead. Being the first on scene each time sounds super suspicious. You think yeah. I'm suspicious, don't you? I suppose you would. The first person on the scene can always lie and say they discovered the body in a locked room. But the thing is, I've never been alone when I've discovered a body. All right, no, I don't think no you killed them and so then just said it was locked, by but... Or by asking the peacekeepers. So the body's discovery was never done alone. If that's true, then all the rooms really were locked. Master, why don't you ask for more details about past cases for now? Can you tell me more about each case? There have been three Nailman cases in the past six months, excluding the one at the clock tower. The first happened six months ago at a secret club in Kamasaki District. Okay, six months ago probably wasn't Halara then. The that makes me feel better. At the time, the nail man was just a name you'd sometimes hear about in urban legends. But I had a personal interest in the nail man, so I started researching him. And then it happened. I came across another murder while investigating a name tag I found in the forest. I knew then that it had to be the nail man. Okay. And that yep. crime scene You're a weirdo. Got it. A locked room? Yeah. All of the nail man crime scenes have common characteristics. There's always a corpse and doll coated in nails. And also, the murderer leaves no trace behind. The, the trace of leaving no traces. So interested in the nail man? I totally get it. Shut up. And you got me. The secret club was the first locked room mystery. As for the second, 
It was at a mansion in the residential area near Ginma District. About three months ago, the owner of the mansion was murdered in the building study. Ooh. The crime scene again took Ooh. place in a locked room with a the weird tube up top makes inside. it look like a hamster cage, like this, with the crawly tubes. No doubt it was committed by the nail man. Or a giant hamster. I knew the legendary nail man had descended upon Kanai Ward. Oh, for goodness sake. The mystery occurred a month ago. A woman was killed in an art gallery storage in Ginma District. It also featured a body and a doll covered in nails in a completely locked room. And today, the be more interested if it had the dinosaur fossils. That's every single nail man case. At least for now. I'm sure the Make it sound creepy when you add the for now. An act revenge for the people of Kanai Ward. Uh huh. I mean, why hasn't anybody put, like, you know, the nail man killing the head of Amaterasu Corps? For the record, I know this episode is going a bit long, but I want to finish asking these and get to a natural stop point. That reminds me, is there any information about the dolls used in the nail man ceremonies? I know a few have been found at the crime scenes, too. <laughs> you find that stuff in any doll shop. Doll Antique shop? dolls? Huh? You haven't seen one? What are you, a foreigner or something? Around Matter here, of fact. All the craft shops have been selling fancy dolls for a long time. That's a weird they thing to sell. Years for tourists. But that industry is long gone now. But why do they still Some sell them? still sell them at steep discounts just to get rid of their stock. Oh, uh, that's fair. If you know where to look, you'll see mountains of illegally discarded dolls all over the place. I like the eyes on the stained glass window, though. In the background, is an owl on the top portion? Uh. Oh, I missed that last line. What did you... <laughs> so, they aren't much of a clue given how easy they are to obtain. Okay, cool. Anything strange has happened? Um, has anyone noticed strange things happening near the church lately? Wow, what a big question. Yes, we noticed a man going out back and taking nails and dolls and... What is it? Please, any small detail will help. This will be nothing useful. Something strange was burning. Oh, I take it back. earlier. What do you mean by strange? Yeah. I thought it was a rope, but all I can say is it, it looked strange. Um, can you try drawing what it looked like? It does look like some sort of bizarre rope. It's like a set. Looks almost like a net sort of thing, or half of a rope ladder. Portion of a rope ladder, whatever. I that it wasn't supposed to be burned, so I tried to take it out. But I was too late. It was completely incinerated. Hmm. I asked around to see if anyone knew about it, but everyone claimed they hadn't thrown away anything like it. Hmm. The incinerator is surrounded by a locked fence. Only clergy can access it. And yet, none of the clergy said they didn't. I don't even work here in the first place. Only clergy can access the incinerator, but no one claims to have thrown it away. Hmm. Maybe a ghost did it. Hmm. But something's fishy. Okay, burnt rope remains. Now, help the suspect. A watchmaker was arrested earlier. He's suspected of being involved in the nailman incident. Does anyone know anything about him? A watchmaker? You mean G.A. Colin? I've asked him to fix the church clock several times <laughs> to think that he's the nailman. Allegedly. Well, Allegedly. It hasn't been proven that he's the culprit yet. Oh, 
I see. But if it were him, no one would blame him. Oh? What do you mean? This city has completely changed. Everyone is seeking salvation in some way. The Nail Man was born out of our situation. You mean the Nail Man is what the people actually wanted? Many would certainly deny it, but the nail dolls continue to appear in our forest. Interesting. If the nail man acts as their agent, then they are also the nail man. In a way. That's how I see it. Eh. What do you think? That won't get you off the hook if you're actually the one who committed the murder, so. After all, he kills the people you want dead for you. I mean. The victim had it coming for doing something worth getting killed over, right? Not always. I mean, nobody should be killed over. Oh. Looks like time yeah. is almost up. Let's get going. Was that okay? Yes, it will suffice. Thank you for your cooperation. You should study their face as well. They may end up being accused of the murders. Huh? Why did it have to show Shinigami there? Every face, so you Ooh. can spot them, even if they flee through a crowd. W wait! Do you mean the actual culprit is one of them? Perhaps. Maybe. There's not enough information yet to act on. We have no time to waste. Let's investigate the other crime scenes. Best not to scramble what little gray matter rests in your head. So let's examine the crime scenes chronologically. We have time okay. for that? Well, the first murder occurred at... No... Secret club in Kamasaki District. It's the secret club in the Kamasaki District, right? Yep. Correct. Let's hurry. I won't allow time to be wasted. Okay, so I'm going to have to go ahead and end this episode here. I hope everyone enjoyed. If you did, then I hope you'll go ahead and leave a like. And if you don't mind also hitting the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. All my subscribers, wonderful people, and it would mean the world to me. And if you wouldn't mind also leaving a comment, let me know how I'm doing. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what is the most rock and roll church service thing you've heard of. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay awesome. Bye now.